what's up everybody and welcome back to this extra let's play we're gonna talk about the six games i played for this episode and i'm gonna show you one of those games and that's the game against hartlepool because that was the best game for this episode for these sets of games so let's take take the game against hartlepool first and then we could talk about the rest of the games and just the other things that happened so far so the game for this episode is going to be the game against Harpool and they are in the third spot in the League 2 while I am in uh, the second spot just above them. So it's going to be a good match, that's why I've chosen this match to be this episode's match that I'm going to show. I've already played a couple of games and um, it's been uh, it's been good, I've, um, I've found two tactics that I'm pretty comfortable with. The one I'm playing right now, the 4-3-3, a little bit more possession-oriented, a little bit more low tempo, while the other is the goal machine tactic, which I'm primarily using when playing against teams that are better than me. I should maybe have played it against Harlepool, but I'm confident in starting out with this tactic here. And um, if I'm going to have some trouble with Harlepool, then I'll then I'll shift the tactic over. This tactic that I'm playing right now, the 4-3-3, last I played with it, I can't, I can't remember who I played against, but I had like 60% possession and um, maybe 20 shots on goal. So I'm, cr I'm creating a fairly decent amount of chances with this tactic also. The other is just more direct. I have some injuries and so on. Which is um, which is a bummer and dragged me a little bit down, but I'm confident that I can produce a good result here. Even though Hartlepool here is giving me a hard time here in the beginning of the match, but hopefully I will step up a little bit and uh, be able to produce a good result. So the transfers are done for this transfer window. I've brought in those that I could bring in. And I'm fairly satisfied with the squad I have right now. It's a fairly big squad, so a lot of players are not playing right now. They are reserve players that are not even on the bench. But for me, it's just important to be able to to have some options when inevitably the players get injured. And I just brought in a couple of loans. So, oh, oh nice play. No, Edwards almost. And it's cheap loans, cheap uh, young players, so it doesn't cost me that much. And it's always good to have some backup players in case somebody gets injured or your your first team players don't perform that much. So it's always good to have those young players that can maybe produce something unexpected or something like that. So I'm fairly fairly satisfied with the team I have right now. I could maybe do with another midfielder, but um, yeah, so far it's good. But the problem with this is obviously that um, once the season is over, I'll have some gaps in my team due to all the lone players going back. So I'll need to figure something out there. So I can see that Hartlepool is actually playing fairly strongly through the middle. So I'm going to just focus my defense a little bit narrower, um, close down the middle. They are playing with... Uh, two attackers and one offensive midfielder as you can see here so it's important to close them down and i think actually right now i'm gonna shift over to my goal machine tactic which looks like this as you already know hopefully i can bang in some goals here already from the start of the second half and maybe um maybe just close the game uh, it would be nice with a win here um they are uh they are a contender for those first couple of places, um, so it's obviously a good idea if I can beat them, especially away from home. That could uh, give us a huge boost. And yeah, Matt J is not having the best game out there, but I am thinking about doing a little bit of a rotation here. So Edwards is going to go out here, J is going to go here, and I'm going to use Ramkile here, Marco, he's actually done a fairly good job for me. He scored also in one of the games that I haven't shown. So he's on two goals already, as you can see here. So he's actually been fairly decent for me. 
So maybe he can actually do something for me in this game. So a lot of tower players out there. It is a little intensive, this tactic here. High tempo, high intensity. So it takes a toll on the players, obviously. Oh, maybe Harlepool here with a chance. Nope, Dawson. He's there on the, on the near post. And he's able to block the shot there. But we're not out of woods yet. Maybe they can score here from the corner kick. Yeah, Sweeney's got it covered. He heads the ball out. Yeah, Chase not having a good game out there. 6.2 in his average rating. That's really not that good. So I might actually just bring him out. Yeah, good positioning from the players here. I can get into those. Into the, into the free space. Good ball here to Francois. He can't get to it. How oh, a shame. Long ball forward. Oh, that's going to be... Yeah, that's not good that two players are going on the same one. Oh, that's a good ball there to Bury. And Dawson again saves us. I think it's time for Matt J to come out and use Ba. So I have two really, really quick wingers. And that's something I obviously need to, um, need to exploit. So I'm actually going to focus the play down the flanks. Ooh, nice save, but Henry, he's on the rebound. That's not good. That's a shame. Maybe I can still get something out of this game. I only have one substitution left. Yeah, there you have definitely been the better team. I haven't created anything. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good at all. Just go on a support duty. Actually, you're going to come out because you also are on a yellow and I'm going to use Kyle Taylor there. Ooh, Collins. Collins, Collins, Collins. Yeah. They're going to get a free kick here. Yeah, there are two defenders that are actually having a really good game. Yeah, my, my team hasn't performed at all like I was hoping for in this game. But that's on us. The tactic didn't fit this um, this team I should maybe have stuck with my more defensive tactic more position oriented tactic instead of um, changing it in half time but uh, that's a lesson to learn to to the next game no, yeah I just I, I can't get the ball forward they are really good here in the midfield they uh, they are blocking all passing opportunities and uh, yeah I can't get the ball forward at all to my attackers and wingers and that's the game. We that's our first loss of the season against Hartlepool. Um Yeah, they completely dominated us. So it's it's deserved that they that they won this game. Um, unfortunately for us, now they're on first, but we are still on third place here. Yeah, shame for us. But um, hopefully, it will be one of few losses so far. Now, unfortunately, we did lose the game against Harlepool. We lost 1-0. Um, they they controlled the game. We have to be honest here. They were the better team, as you can see here. Um, so it was maybe somewhat um, reasonable that we did lose this game. I mean, none, none of my players actually performed that well, except for maybe... Uh, Ray here, um, but overall, yeah, poor game for me, especially for Matt J. That that really is an important player for me, and um, I need to get him going again. But as you can see here, we left off last episode with a win against Cheltenham in the Papa John Trophy, and uh, we drew against Scunthorpe here. A late goal from Evora Edwards. Um, we were lucky here to uh, to get the draw that late in the game. But as you can see here, we, we completely dominated them. We we should have definitely won this game. I mean, we have 11 shots on target against their two and 60% possession. So we did everything right except score the goals, which was a little bit disappointing. Um, again, Jay, not the best of games. I put in Marco Ramkill here instead of him, and he had a decent game, but no goals, unfortunately. But this was a game I should have won. Uh, yeah, so that was unfortunate for us. So.
the forest green game we actually beat forest green and they are number one in the league so we actually beat so we actually beat the league leaders and again a game we completely dominated we had a little bit more possession that they had and you can see here i did use my gold machine tactic and ram Kilde actually scored our winner he had a really good game and so did all my defenders and taylor also um i've opted to use this gold machine tactic against stronger teams than me because it's a little bit more counter-attacking where the goal is to get the ball forward as fast as fast as possible so that obviously fits with uh, playing against those better teams because they are going to dominate me but um yeah fortunately we did win this game and we should have won more we have we had 10 shots on goal but uh, a win is a win and a really big win against the league leaders here then we won against Sutton and they are in the 21st position so uh, a bottom team you can say we we won two to one here and um again we had the fairly decent amount of shots, not a lot on goal, but we dominated possession. We dominated. We should have won more than 2-1 here. Um, but yeah, again, uh, decent performance all around. And you can see here, I changed to the 4-3-3 uh, when I play against teams that I'm expected to win against. And uh, this is just a tactic that, that lets me control possession. As you can see here, I had more possession um against Sutton here than I like that I had in the last game so a decent performance so far I'm still trying to learn the tactic my players are still trying to learn the tactic so it's it's good for me to just to um to win every game I can and give these players a chance to learn the tactic uh so going forward I'm expecting better performance and better results Matt J thankfully scored a goal here so uh, good for him and good for us to get him into uh, uh into the scoring and we lost against Harlepool, unfortunately. And uh, then Walsall, we beat them. Late, late goal from Pierre Sweeney here. Um, but again, we we did dominate them a little bit. Uh, we could have done a little better against Walsall. The defense really provided a good uh, performance all around. Goalkeeper also. The attack wasn't that good. Edwards on the left side didn't have the best game of his life. But uh, yeah, we did win, and uh, that's the most important thing. And uh, Walsall were dead last. So the fact that we didn't win more uh, was maybe a little bit disappointing. But again, a win is a win, and that's all we are we are looking at right now. Now, the Papa John Trophy, we unfortunately did lose against Chelsea's uh, under-23 team. We did lose on uh, penalties, but I was expecting that because look at this team it's just completely almost the whole team is my reserve team so i was expecting to lose this game i put up a good fight but it was just not meant to be so i ended up losing this game on penalties and yeah there's just not much you can do about that now this is actually the first time i'm playing this papa john's trophy as far as i can remember so i'm not sure how this is uh, gonna work out but as far as i could tell we still have one game against bristol rovers here and so far we are in the green i'm expecting those two first teams are going to advance so it looks fine so far we're gonna play against Br bristol rovers here which we'll hope we win against so yeah and uh, the finances here as you can remember from the last time we are a little bit over our wage budget it's just by 200 pounds per week so it's not a lot it should keep us in the green every month still um but it's not good that we are over our wage budget because they actually require us to work within our wage budget, the board. So, but it says that we are on course. So maybe they're not um, those two hundred pounds. They maybe are seeing that uh, that we are still on track. So yeah. But actually, I can just push this up here because we are not going to do more transfers, and then we are actually. Oh, almost, almost. But yeah, this is fine. I, I don't think it's, it's going to be a problem so far. But I'm still looking at uh, at players. I'm all, always looking at players uh, to bring in for cheap loans, free transfers, and so on. Because, I mean, the attack is looking fine. We have, we are still trying to sell uh, Giovanni Brown here. Um, but we have Matt J, we have Ramkilda, we have Padraig, 
Amund here on a loan and Sam Nomp who can play also on the right side here. And uh, left side also looking good, Matt J, Edwards, Ba, and right side also Edwards. We have Josh Key and Ba. And our midfield is also looking good, but that's probably the place that I'm looking to to bring in reinforcement because Matt Jay is not going to play the midfield. And these are the guide, guys that are doing the most running, so they are getting tired uh, faster than all the other players out there. So I could do with another midfielder that uh, just to bring in some fresh legs now and then. And the defense also looking good. We have Sam Stubbs, uh, Sweeney. Sweeney is going to play mostly on the right side, I think, whenever he's going to play as a backup to Josh Key. We have Lapoda Grounds, who can also play on the left side. Left side also looking good. And the goalkeeper, we have Dawson alone. So that means we're going to look for a goalkeeper after this season. But yeah, so far, everything looks good. That, that dynamic here... The Maginial support is looking good just because of the number of uh, wins that I have, but club atmosphere is not that good and team cohesion is still pretty bad. So hopefully this will get better once uh, we start winning more games and this will obviously, as it says here, uh, positioning is impacted by this and uh, vision and reaction is also impacted by low team cohesion. So as we get more wins, this will get better so our players will actually play even better. So that's the setup for this episode. We are still looking good in the competition in League Two. We are in second position, but there are we are th three teams on the same amount of points here. So we it it is going to be a hard fight. So hopefully we will be able to get on top and actually prom get a promotion to League One. Matt Jay is on six goals so far, uh, good from him. Uh, and the average rating, we have Josh Key, our right back, and uh, Caleb Rowe, our left back. And uh, yeah, we we are looking good so far. That's not It's not a lot I can say about that. We have some injuries here, but nothing too extraordinary. And for the next episode, we're going to look at playing um, at least six games again. Um we have Newsport here. Oh, first Stevenage, forgot about them. They're in the 14th position. Newsport 19, Crawley 23rd. So a couple of easy games here, or hopefully there should be easy games. We have Mansfield from 7th and Salford from 5th position. So I'm thinking about showing the Salford game as the game highlight for next episode. So that's pretty much it for, for this extra Let's Play uh, episode. And um, we're going to continue this format where I only show one game for every six, seven games I'm playing just to skip forward faster because it's, it is going to be a long list play. So as always, thank you for watching, guys, and see you next time.